Today we'll take a look at five free software programs for your computer. Let's face it, there is a lot of really bad software out there. These programs I show you today are actually great. They are powerful, useful, and are free of viruses and malware. There are many other free software programs that are considered great, and we'll cover those in future videos. Most of these programs we show you today are available for Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems, and they are not really in any particular order because they're in different categories, but we'll count them down anyways just for fun. That's coming up next on Tech Gumbo. Number five, Specky. Most operating systems come with system information tools that are somewhat limited on the information they provide. Specky is a great tool that displays more of your system's software and hardware specifications. This comes in handy when troubleshooting your PC or when preparing to upgrade the hardware on your computer. Specky displays your system specs in expandable categories like CPU, RAM, motherboard and graphics, along with several other categories. You can even see the real-time temperatures of some of the hardware on your computer. You can choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit in the options. You can even save or export your system's data as text or XML files that can be useful when getting help to diagnose your computer's problems. At this time, Specky is only available on Windows operating systems. It does offer a paid version, but for most users, the free version will be all that they need. Number four, VLC Media Player. VLC is an open source media player for watching videos and for listening to audio of your favorite music and podcasts. It plays almost any type of file without the need of installing codec packs. Some of you may recall the frustrations of having to deal with codecs. Not fun at all. VLC is highly customizable to suit your needs. You can even install plugins to change the look and functionality of VLC by going to Tools and then selecting Plugins and Extensions. The only limitation I found is that it does not play Blu-ray movies. Other than that, it's a great media player. VLC is available on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. It's even available on iOS and Android. Number three, WPS Office Free. WPS Office, which was formerly known as Kingsoft Office, is an office suite which consists of great alternatives to Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. In fact, WPS is compatible with those Microsoft Office products and has a similar look. Here's what the Microsoft Word alternative looks like. Here's the Excel alternative and the alternative to PowerPoint. Among all the products in the suite, it has the standard ribbon at the top with options that are very similar to Microsoft Office. I normally use Microsoft Office, but after a week of using WPS, I found the differences to be very minor. You can even export documents to PDFs. One minor downside is that it is ad supported but the ads are not too much of a distraction. It's available on Windows, Linux, Android, and iOS. Oddly, it's not available on macOS. A good alternative to WPS that is available on macOS is LibreOffice. I'll put a link for that one too in the description of this video. Number two, GIMP. If you're a cheapskate like me and you're looking for a great free alternative to Photoshop, then GIMP is what you're looking for. You can do multiple layers, masks, transformations, plus a whole lot more. It's my preferred program for image creation and editing. To start a new project, select File, then select New, and then the width and height of your project. Then click OK. GIMP can be intimidating to use at first with its many options, but gets easier the longer you use it. To keep this video short, we don't have time for a tutorial, but a few weeks back we did create a GIMP beginner's guide to get you started. On the internet and here on YouTube, there are also a lot of very good tutorials from other creators to help you with the advanced functionality of GIMP. GIMP is available on Windows, 
macOS, and Linux. Number one, Ninite. Last but not least, Ninite is a great program that installs and updates multiple programs at once. Several of you have recommended Ninite in our other videos. I have not used Ninite since Windows 7, so it's been several years, so tried it again recently on a Windows 10 PC. The good news is Ninite still works great. If you have a new computer or want to do a fresh install of several programs that you use, it installs them all at the same time. The programs it does have are always up to date and won't install toolbars or any other extra junk. It knows whether to install 32 or 64-bit software based on your machine. Here's how it works. First what you do is you pick all the programs that you would like on your computer. So in this example I'll pick Notepad++ and PDF Creator. When you've selected all the programs that you would like, you select Get Your Ninite. Select Save File. Select the installer file from your download folder and run it. Now it will download and install all the programs you previously selected. Click on the Show Details to see more information. When you need to update these programs in the future, you just go back to the installer file you used to install and run it again to keep these programs up to date. Ninite is only available for Windows operating systems. Mac OS users have access to Get Mac Apps. I'll provide a link for that one along with Ninite in the description. Sadly, they discontinued support for Linux. So if you're on a Windows operating system, you should definitely check out Ninite. That concludes our list. All links are in the description of this video in the order they appeared. We will release more videos like this showcasing great software in the future. Let us know in the comments what you think of this free software and what software you think is great that you would like to see in future videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And if you haven't done so already, click on that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest from the world of technology from Tech Gumbo.